Welcome. Today we're going to be taking apart a Lenovo X1 Carbon Type 20QD. This one is the 7th Gen ThinkPad X1 Carbon. And to start out, we're going to need a small Phillips bit. This is a 2.5 millimeter. And be advised, we are going to leave the display assembly as a complete unit. Um, these can be kind of tricky to take apart sometimes. Um, so if you need a new display, you may consider just buying it as a complete unit. Um, but we'll get started. So we're going to flip it over and remove all of the case screws here on the bottom. Alright, once you have all those case screws out, uh, you should be able to get a fingernail or something into the seam between the bottom case and the palm rest and it'll just kind of pop off. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. So we'll go ahead and remove those battery screws. Alright, so this type of connector just comes up and off, so once you get that battery uh, loosened, we're just going to push up on that connector and it'll pop right out. Alright, so given a look here, um, they have used a lot of uh, plastic cover on this model. Uh, so I think we're just going to start from the top and work our way in. So we'll go ahead and remove the fan and heat sink assembly. Okay, so they've used smaller type screws for the uh, heat sink. So I'm going to switch to a 1.5 Phillips. So each screw uh, has a stamp next to it with a number. That's the tightening order once you uh, go to reinstall the heat sink, but it doesn't matter uh, which order you remove them. All right, and then for the fan, it's just a little tiny connector here. So we're just gonna kind of gently pull and try to work that connector out. Definitely helps to have a spudger or some other kind of uh, precision tool to help get in there and kind of loosen some of these tiny connectors. Generally just kind of working it back and forth um, as you put a little bit of pulling tension. Not too much because you don't want to damage it, but uh, just work it back and forth and you'll be able to get that tiny little connector out of there. All right, since we're over here, we'll go ahead and remove the in-out board as well. I'm gonna switch back to the 2.5. And with this type of connector, it has a little bar that goes around the connector. So once you flip that up, you can use it to pull it free. And same with the uh, display connector, it has that little bar. So we'll lift that up and use the little bar to pull it free from the motherboard. And looks like maybe the fingerprint reader there, this type of connector, you just pop up with your fingernail. All right, looks like it has an integrated Wi-Fi card. So all we need to do is just pop those antennas up and off. And we have another uh, cable here for either the webcam or the digitizer. Same deal, it's got the little bar. We're gonna flip that up and use it to pull that connector free. And we're gonna need to pull 
pull that tape back to uh, allow that wire to kind of come free. I believe that's for the speaker bar. And we got another connector right here for the speakers. This one has tabs on it. You just use your fingernails to slide it out of the connector. All right, for the, looks like the keyboard ribbon, this one has a flip up type retainer. So you flip that up and then once you pull the ribbon out, be sure to flip it back down. Okay. And the pram battery here is gonna stay with the motherboard. So we're going to just unstick that from the palm rest and we're gonna leave it stuck to the motherboard here. No real need to unplug that. All right, last minute check for any more ribbons connected to the motherboard. I don't see them. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those motherboard screws. Okay, and I do see that there's an SSD drive underneath this plastic cover, so we're gonna peel that back. And it's just the one screw to remove your SSD. And just kind of wiggle that out of the connector, and it is a NVMe SSD. All right, so we're gonna give the motherboard a little bit of a wiggle. Um, it feels... There's one more screw kind of hiding under the video cable. Okay, that feels a lot better. So always wiggle little parts before you go to try to remove them and that will kind of help ensure that you haven't missed any screws. They do tend to hide under little covers and stuff. And then when you are ready to remove the motherboard, pull up from the inside because out here there are uh, ports from the motherboard that are sticking through the palm rest. So you're gonna have to kind of lift it up from the inside edge and then um, kind of pull back and wiggle it out of the palm rest because these do protrude through the palm rest right here. And we'll flip it over slowly, make sure that there's no other ribbons connected. And now we have our motherboard. And this particular motherboard has integrated RAM. It is not upgradable or replaceable, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we are left with the keyboard, and the keyboard does look replaceable. There's just a ton of little tiny screws. Um, same with the touchpad. It looks like there's a few screws holding that into the assembly. One screw for the fingerprint reader, and then a few screws for the uh, speakers. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and leave the palm rest as a complete unit. But if you need to replace any of those parts, it's just a number of screws and you'll be there. All right, so we're gonna finish freeing the video cable and anything else coming from that display assembly and make sure that it's ready to pull free from the palm rest. And it looks like Lenovo have used a copious amount of tape to kind of hold everything together. So I'll just peel that back. All right, so we're gonna just remove these six screws on the hinges to remove the display assembly from the palm rest assembly. And it looks to me like it needs to be open about, uh, pretty much all the way. Um, from 90 degrees to fully open at 180 uh, should allow you to uh, clear those hinges from the palm rest once we get those screws out. So we'll go ahead and remove those hinge screws.
Okay, and let's see if it wants to kind of wiggle free yet. Yep. So basically fully open and upside down um, will allow you to separate that display assembly from the palm rest. And it looks like your Wi-Fi antennas uh, just have one screw each and there's probably some adhesive um, in there partially holding those in. All right, so that is pretty much how you disassemb disassemble the seventh gen Lenovo X1 Carbon. Um, it does look like you can upgrade your SSD if you need to, um, but otherwise the RAM processor is totally integrated. Um, so if this video helped you or you found it informative, please like and subscribe. Thank you.